And the onions are cooked in advance in butter. So I use some oil and some little olive oil mixture with normal oil, sunflower oil. And I've been trying this pan because all the other pans with this um, type of heat, I'm not used to this type of heat. I'm used to, um, you know, gas heat. And this one is uh, induction. So I've been using this pan because it's a real solid bottom. I have pretty good pan big pans, but they're not. They're, they work with induction, but they uh, prepared, and that's why I cook it right away. And I cook it, um, excuse me, I cook it, uh, you know, to the heart, to the cœur, as we say in French. These are the the grilled the, the basted onions and butter and olive oil. And let's get, put all this away. Get this out of here. Get this away. It's pickles. Um, it's a comes from an original recipe. Comes from a Swedish pickle. You notice the burgers have like underneath is the grilled onions and the salt at the burger now. And then I put the relish on the, this part with the bun on so that it can kind of soak in the bun and give the flavor to the brioche. The bun is a brioche made by the baker. It's not your typical hamburger. A brioche bun, you see? It's, there's egg in it and it's a little bit sweet. And it get, is what makes the Big Fort Burger so different. The sweet and sour relish, the grilled onion, and mustard or any of those things on it. It's, it's kind of a, has a whole flavor to it where you don't even feel the need for, cat, you know, ketchup or anything. So I'm then going to put the buns on now. They've, because I don't, I, I could put a little pepper. I don't always put pepper. But it could, I could put so it never hurts. You see, don't put too much on. Just gonna put ever so tiny bit. Just for. I'm gonna rinse my hands from that pepper. Might make me sneeze. Pepper is known to make you sneeze. I'll place them on here strategically. They've been salted. I ordered, when the bakery was closed, I ordered some buns from the other bakery. They're beautiful, but they're just not the burgers that we need, not the buns we need for the, for the Big Fort Burger. Uh oh, I don't know what direction it is. I don't know what it is. This is a really special bun. Uh-oh. I made a mistake. Oh, it's going to be too late. This bun's not the right one. But you see there you've got the big Ford burger. You really have a lot of meat and, um, and freshly prepared from the butcher with the onions on the bottom. And when you warm this up, it kind of all blends together the flavors and when you bite into it it's like biting into a just a warm tasty sweet and sour onion meaty it's just really nice i kind of used a mock inspiration you really taste the pickle it's not like white castles is almost like a a tease compared to the big fort burger so I have two more left over and I have some buns that I didn't want to use but I'll make them for us. And I'm going to cover them and get them cold and when they're cold I'll wrap them.
give them to me. Down the gate, and we're going to 